Hey guys, it's Smitty and it's day three of the point 13 wipe and I'm getting asked a lot what the best places to find the early game questing items are that everyone needs. Things like gas analyzers and flash drives. So I figured I'd make this video. This is going to cover the most common things needed to get from roughly level one to 20. First off is going to be your three Saluas for shortage. These are going to be pretty easy to get, but the problem is, is that everyone needs them because they're the first required quest for therapist. So the areas you find them might be contested. In my opinion, though, I think reserve is by far the best map to get these and also multitask finding other quest items that are very important for down the road. But for the Saluas, you're going to want to be prioritizing two things. The first one being the White Bishop building shown here. It has all these little doctor's office rooms throughout the building, including one underground. In all of these rooms, there's going to be lots of static medical loot that can be found. And then the second spot is going to be the medical crates and duffel bags down in D2. While you're looking for all of these Saluas, make sure you're picking up the found and raid morphine you're getting because you're going to need four of these for a later quest from Therapist. After you found your Saluas, you're going to need to get three gas analyzers for Sanitary Standards Part 1 and 2. There's going to be a few spots to check for these, and in my opinion, Reserve is still the best map to be looking for them on. These are a lot easier to find this wipe than last, and they're spawning inside of the wooden industrial loot crates and in filing cabinets fairly commonly. Also, the drop-down room inside of the school building spawns them pretty often. Now, the next item that I've seen the most amount of people get stuck on in point 13 is going to be flash drives. If you cannot turn these in, you can now progress onto Friend from the West and keep leveling up Peacekeeper, unlike last wipe, but you will not be able to progress with Skier and continue doing the chemical quest line. You're going to need five flash drives in total, two for the current skier quest you're most likely on, and then three for a later Jaeger one, all found in raid. But for finding these flash drives, by far the best method is going to be getting them from safes. In prior wipes, finding flash drives and filing cabinets was typically the go-to thing to do. But from what myself and also the feedback from my chat that I've gotten, it seems that the spawn rate for flash drives has greatly been reduced inside of filing cabinets. So to counter this, I recommend farming some jackets until you get some keys that open up some safes. I'll flash a recommended guide on the screen that I made of a route I did to farm dorms jackets and that I've been doing so far this wipe. I've gotten keys like 301 and 222 East. Uh, other keys such as 204 and 214, if you find keys like that, that will allow you to consistently check for two safes for flash drives every time you go dorms and look for other high value keys or gather quest items. The other option you have for flash drives would be scab backpacks and also the flash drive tent at woods. You should definitely be looting scab bags as you're killing them and questing on the other maps. And also, if you find yourself on woods, if you can spawn near this point on the map, or you find yourself leaving through outskirts, if you can make your way to this tent here, flash drives can spawn in the opening on the ground. The only problem is this is a semi-well-known spot to most other people who have been playing the game for a while, so they're likely prioritizing looting it. And finally, the last two things that you can easily find that you might have trouble with is the therapist quest for Tashanka and car batteries. Neither of these quests should lock any other quests behind them or halt your progression, but they are good for quick XP bumps and you can find all the items as you're just going around doing other tasks. As you're making your way around before you get this quest, you most likely have already found a bunch of small cans of Tashanka and have kept them. But if you're trying to find more in raid, you can go over to this corner inside of Goshan. It's in the back left where a ton of food can spawn on the back shelves that will also give you the items required to craft Tashanka inside of your hideout if you have Nutrition Center level 1. This is the crafting recipe here. It'll make two cans, they'll be found in raid, and it'll take a little over an hour. And on the other side of Goshan, you will also find these shelves where car batteries can spawn. But I don't recommend spam running this map looking only here for the batteries. What I do recommend is you go into your normal raids and check duffel bags, and large wooden industrial crates for them. They spawn there the most, but if you're on interchange, it's definitely worth checking the spot on the way in or the way out of the map. All right, that's going to be the video, guys. Hopefully this has been helpful to those of you who are in the earlier quest of the wipe. I'll be live daily. I would appreciate it if you come in and check out the stream. Link down below. There'll be more YouTube content as quick as I can get it out for this wipe. Uh, I appreciate you, and I'll see you around.